Well, in Paris, they're starting to believe that Kylian Mbappé is leaving Paris Saint-Germain. In England, they're starting to talk that, that Kylian Mbappé and their family is not happy what is being um, presented to them as options alternate by leaving um, Paris Saint-Germain. And in Spain, everything is starting to be a little bit more in relaxed and starting to believe. Real Madrid is starting to believe a little bit more that they're a step closer than they were before with Kylian Mbappé. Can't miss the show. Let's start right now. Goal! Welcome everybody and here we go another show of Football con Bamban and yes I am talking a little bit slower because I am in the hotel once again I am and this entire week in the hotel I'm in Indianapolis this week um, I'm participating on a project that I'm currently in. However, I still want to continue to give you guys the news that is as it's coming up. So I did not bring out the news uh, this weekend when everything blew up about Kylian Mbappé is, is apparently leaving Paris Saint-Germain. The only reason for I did not want to do this is because I knew in, it was an initial hype that it was thrown out from the newspapers. Immediately, the, the person who wrote the news started saying, well, I cannot confirm that is 100% accurate, everything that we've mentioned in here. However, we strongly believe that this is going. So therefore, I do want to give you guys a little bit more of insight about how this is all planning out. So Paris, Le Parisien, let's talk a little bit about that. Le Parisien actually made a publication this weekend talking about that Kylian Mbappé has finally made a decision to join or to leave Paris Saint-Germain. However, this whole weekend, uh, Nasser al khelaifi was not present in, in Paris and he was outside on business trip and it was supposed to be returning sometime today to the, to the site. Now, having that said, it was making a little bit impossible about the possibility that some big decision has been already achieved. Now, I know in the previous show, I did mention to you guys that there was a news that it was going to be um, pretty soon being exposed. And that is still on point in everything that is going because now that I'm not like I see is returning, it is expected that the commitment that Paris Saint-Germain with the Mbappé family about not making any advice or any um announcement prior to the 1st of February was a clause internally agreed between the, the parties. It is it is believed that France is starting to, to, to ask um, the Mbappé family that they would like at some point early in February to understand if they can count with Kylian Mbappé or they should start moving into the next phase to, to look for alternate players. Now we know that Paris Saint-Germain has been um, reaching out to players like Rafael Leal, which is possibly the closest thing about Kylian Mbappé from the market and interest of the Paris Saint-Germain side. Now, Le Parisien apparently comes in, brings out this news. They even give uh, numbers talking about that Kylian Mbappé was going to earn more than Jude Bellingham currently at the club. However, it was going to be a huge reduction. And it was a, nothing different than what we've been mentioning on the show pretty much um, consistently. And they're they're pretty accurate in the point that there no other team is actually going to offer what Paris Saint-Germain. So uh, Paris Saint-Germain apparently is preparing a uh, counterattack to be able to do their last attempt to be able to acquire Kylian Mbappé and convince him to stay. However, it is strongly believed that the Mbappé family is planning to be able to sit down with Paris Saint-Germain because there is a commitment also between the player and Paris Saint-Germain that before any decision is publicized or any decision is made, Paris Saint-Germain will be the first to know. So therefore, this is why a lot of people started making them believe about what Le Parisien says, because we all know how close this newspaper is from the club. And there is big sources and really close sources that, that I follow that are really trusted for um, sources that they believe and they strongly believe that this is the club of Paris Saint-Germain starting to spread this news to Le Parisien because they do want to get everybody prepared about a big news. It is strongly believed that Kylian Mbappé has already expressed their desire to not renew and extend for that additional year and that his intention is to leave the club at the end of the summer. However, 
This does not mean that it's going to be publicly known. However, it says that it is strongly believed that Paris is starting to spread this news to be able to have this information filtered to the public little by little and be able to come up with a realization that when it actually occurs and it says and confirm that he's not going to be no longer with Paris and Germain, then it doesn't take anybody by surprise. This, it's a part that RMC, which is RMC, another newspaper from Paris, who's trying to do the opposite. They're trying to say that Le Parisien already failed um, last year talking about some of the information about Kylian Mbappé and not wanting to continue with, with Paris Saint-Germain, that he was going to leave last summer with Real Madrid. And then they're starting to say that uh, Le Parisien is actually doing the same thing this summer, um, this year, by spreading this news and just trying to sell newspapers. Now, we'd go a little bit further because in England, on the other hand, they're starting to say that all the English Premier League right now teams that they were interested in acquiring Kylian Mbappé are backing off. And the only reason they're backing off in this moment is because none of the clubs is willing to pay a signature bonus, significant amount of what has been said that Real Madrid is capable to pay Kylian Mbappé. However, they do notify and they're saying that one of the things that Kylian Mbappé family and the player are not happy is with the change of, of numbers and the offer that has been presented to them from the club. So this might be a little bit of pressure that, that they're believing that Kylian Mbappé is trying to do to be able to acquire a better offer from Spain, um, the Spanish off club, before leaving Paris Saint-Germain or deciding that if, if the numbers don't come out well, then he'll renew with Paris Saint-Germain. Now in Madrid side, I can tell you right now that even though the newspapers are starting to spread the news that they strongly believe that this is the time that things are going to get closer and that this week, most likely, they're starting to predict that it might come up at a big announcement after the Champions League game. I uh, I have known already from reliable resources really close to Madrid side that it says that everybody in the Madrid side are relaxed, they're calm, that something big is going to happen but they have not acquired to say exactly what it was. We know that this week, the big sponsorship announcement with the, the Real Madrid being sponsored by Hewlett Packard was a big movement. It was a big sound and big wave, which brought up more speculation that if these 70 million that, that now are new uh, acquirement and injection of money to the Real Madrid side, if this was going to cover and help facilitate the covering of the Real Madrid Kylian Mbappé player. Now, all this in the Real Madrid side, there is news that this weekend prior to or after the derby, because the players started asking a little bit the president about if Kylian Mbappe will be coming in. And apparently it was told by Florentino Perez to the player, to the players, that there is a very big opportunity, a uh, possibility that Kylian Mbappe will be joining the club next summer. However, they still have not acquired it, his signature and they have not guaranteed that he will be joining the club yet. But basically with Florentino making this mention apparently to the players, and if this completely true, then we're entering into a phase that Real Madrid is starting to say, you know what, we've already made our offers to him. They know what we can pay them. They know that what we are saying right now is not going to unbalance uh, the club internally. Because let's be honest, and uh, other people, there's a lot of gossip so trying to debate and creating debate saying that Kylian Mbappe coming into Real Madrid, earning more than everybody else is going to create a big disaster with the club. But think about it. Kylian Mbappe currently right now makes more money than all the players in, in Real Madrid. And, you know, he might make more money than multiple players by paying, you know, put all together because Kylian Mbappé is making more than 60 million a year with Paris Saint-Germain. So everybody's already under the impression that he makes more money than them. And that doesn't bother them. They still make comments and still ask if he's going to be joining, yes or no. Besides that, he's a superstar player who's, who's very developed and they know that he's young and he's, he knows in his prime and he's as World Cup and he's been as big exposed and he's a big deal. Therefore, by joining Real Madrid, there is big opportunities that Rodrigo Goes has, has, has been really good friends with him. They've been seeing together in, in some of the, the activities that they've been going. Vinicius Jr., I have to remind you that Vinicius Jr. and one of the images was wearing Kylian Mbappé's um, watch. They were they were partying together for the weekends and everything. They've been really good friends. They, they, they hang out together. They've traveled together to a couple of destinations, you know, so 
you know, by having this opportunity to have this this superstar coming into the team, it's not going to create an unbalance or uh, gossip and conspiracy or anything like that. However, being at the numbers, we know Florentino Perez in the upper hand, as we mentioned previously in the shows, that he's not willing to go all out and spend in a lot of money. But let's just imagine that Florentino Perez, Perez is trying to pay him between 20 to 20 time, 25 million, which is what we've been talking about. That is an average about the salary they go. And we have to remember that Cristiano Ronaldo was making 21 a lot of years ago and, and you know, almost 10 years ago. And by having a player with the status of Kylian Mbappe on the squad, making probably 20 to 25 million when he comes from 60 million, it got to be understandable about any person who's in a team. They know that he's making a lot of money and he's doing a huge pay cut to play with them. So this is one of the reasons why I think all this gossip and all this debate that is being occurring, talking about that Kylian Mbappe is going to be a bad seed and a bad apple for the for the, for the the people, I don't think that's going to be needed true. There, there's talked about, you know, really good friendship, like I told you, between the three strikers. They're going to be shifting between each other. They're going to be playing around. Everybody thought that when Messi would arrive to Paris Saint-Germain, it will be a mess between him and Mbappé. They ended up being friends. Neymar and Mbappé, they ended up being friends. You know, anybody that they keep going and bringing inside his names has become really good friends with Mbappé regardless. I'm not saying that Mbappé is the most friendliest player or anything like that. I'm just saying that in this environment that has come up to Real Madrid, the Eagles are there. Yes. Everybody with a championship mentality. Yes. There is titles involved club-wise with, with, with the players. Yes. But this guy that is coming inside also has been in two World Cup finals also as well. He's one of the best players. He's one of the top scorers. He's one of the best players. And who does not want to play with a great, phenomenal player? You know, that's one of the things that you guys got to think about when you're talking and debating about if Kylian Mbappé is going to be a bad seed, a bad apple. So, Having everything gathered up and having everything said, there is apparently something big coming up in these next couple of weeks. There, there is a big special on Thursday. I don't know what's going to happen on Thursday, but there's a big special that is going to come up on Thursday. And then it could probably pop up that right after the, the, the Champions League game, there's big gossip that maybe Paris Saint-Germain will come out and say that Kylian Mbappé has decided that he will probably move on after this summer. They will never say that where he's going because that's going to be a secret between themselves. But I'm seeing already that if this happens, it's going to be something like with David Alaba did and, and, and Borussia Dortmund, that they actually came in and said, you know, I will not opt for the next extension on the contract that is suggested to me. I will not renew my contract with Bayern de Munich. Therefore, my contract will be concluded at the end of the summer. That's it. And then nothing else actually popped up all the way into the summertime when Real Madrid acquired David Alaba. So I'm thinking this is going to be something... Very similar with Kylian Mbappé. I don't think Kylian Mbappé would actually say anything. I think it's going to be probably between Alkela, if you mentioned uh, the, the public statement, or maybe the newspaper finding out directly. So we are going to be in this little status. And by him saying that he's leaving the club, it does not guarantee that he's going to Real Madrid. It just opens up the Pandora. Maybe they're doing the last attempt to see if finally a, a team, knowing that he's not going to continue, can bring out a better number or can push Real Madrid to to increase their, their their salary. There is actually uh, an insane uh, report that I actually read yesterday that it was talking about that Kylian Mbappé is willing to go without a club all the way to the Olympics and he's going to wait until after the Olympics to be able to make a decision about the club that he's going. The reason I'm saying is insane. I know with Kylian Mbappé, we can't expect anything and anything can happen. But what I'm saying is, is really a player with the caliber with the money value that Kylian Mbappé has, it's willing to take a Russian roulette for the Olympics to be able to make and go without a contract at that time. That's going to be, the Olympics are going to be finishing mid-August. I think it's August 11 when they finish. Is he really going to take that hit? What if he gets injured in the Olympics over there? You know, this is, this is something that just makes no rationale sense for me. However, whoever wants to believe the story, it could happen. I'm just saying pretty much right now on this channel, we try to be as serious as possible and get the news as clear as possible. And this is one of the reasons I think you guys appreciate because I receive a lot of messages from you guys saying that, you know, they, they respect that we're trying to be as serious as possible. Yeah, I'm not here to try to get, you know, the likes and views and everything. Yes, I like them because, you know, the, the channel's growing. Everybody's being more sensitive. But this just motivates me to give you guys more information, to try to spend more time finding out 
what's going on in the market. And remember, this channel specifically in the English program, it's designed mainly because a lot of you guys don't understand Spanish and don't have the privilege to be in the Spanish channels. And I read Spanish newspapers every day. I watch tons of hours of really good resources from, from Spain giving news about everything that is going on with all the Spanish clubs. And I try to filter that and bring you guys that information up in hand. So therefore, when we start talking about Kylian Mbappé, which is something that I'm not trying to make, you know, every day a show about it, I'm trying to bring you guys the, the, the amount of information that is accurate enough to come inside. Like I said, I didn't pop up this weekend to make a, to make a show immediately because I didn't want to jump in into the bandwagon saying, oh yeah, but Le Parisien is saying, and you know, and everything, so everybody can start liking the show. Um, you like the show, I appreciate it. If you don't, then I'm sorry, you know, but the reality is my intent to continue in the show is to provide you guys the most accurate information that it comes inside because I do understand that there's a lot of other sources that do filter on their interests about information. And here, I don't get paid by anybody. I don't do anything. I don't get money by these shows right now and anything at all. So I'm actually here to to do it because I like it. I, I, I inform and I do have some friends that I said, hey, I would like to see, you know, some of the information that's going on in Spain. And they ask me every day through text and everything. So therefore, I decided to share with anybody who's non-Spanish speaking and is willing to understand a little bit about and know what is this talking about, about this case in Spain. And then right now, what I just told you right now, in Spain, the newspapers are starting to replicate what Le Parisien has said. However, in Real Madrid, everybody is relaxed at this moment. So we will continue to pay attention about what's going on with, with this show about Kylian Mbappé, and I will try to talk to you guys as soon as possible everything that it goes on today. If you like the show, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys until next time with Football con Bamba. Ciao!